Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome back to VR Gamer Dude. I'm Don. So today we're going to be taking a look at a new personal video viewer that our good friends over at Goovis just sent me and I can't thank them enough for sending this over. So from what I've been able to find online, the Goovis art here is kind of hard to categorize. It's not a VR or AR headset and it doesn't aim to be. It focuses on providing a great personal video viewing and 2D, 3D games gaming experience. Basically like having your own private iMac screen strapped directly to your face that you can hook up to a bunch of different sources. Now, as most of you know, I already have several of these personal video viewer devices available. So what's going to make the Goovis Art different from the ones I already own? Well, let's get this thing unboxed and set up and then we'll find out together. Let's go. So let's start off by taking a look at the design and comfort of this head mounted display system. Honestly, at first, after getting this thing out of the box, I didn't really think I was going to like the design much, but after using it for a few days, I've got to say, the design of the Goovis Art is actually one of its standout features. Opting for this hanging mirror design rather than a traditional glasses or full headset housing was an interesting choice. This design feels really open, almost as if this large screen is just hanging in front of you without the bulk of a glasses frame or the traditional box of a headset. After getting used to it, I found this design incredibly appealing, providing an unobstructed field of view that enhanced the overall experience. Additionally, the included head strap is exceptionally comfortable. Combined with the low weight of this device at just 110 grams, I found that I could wear the Goovis Art for hours on end without any discomfort at all, and a couple of times I even forgot that I was wearing it, which honestly is a significant plus for extended viewing sessions. With a retina-level angular pixel resolution of 55 ppd, the screens in the Goofus Art look clear from edge to edge, and thanks to the ASPH optical engine and micrometer-level edge pixel alignment with less than 1% master-level distortion correction, Goovis has provided an outstanding viewing experience in this headset. Now, one of the most striking features in the Goovis art, just like its predecessors from Goovis, is its exceptional screen quality. The headset contains dual micro OLED displays, each one providing 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hz, effectively giving you a full HD experience. This results in a crisp and exceptionally vibrant image, making films and games come alive with rich detail and clarity. I also found the color representation to be phenomenal, having colors that just pop nicely without any oversaturation. I think another big reason why this headset looks so good and feels comfortable with minimal to no eye strain must be due to the fact that it's fully adjustable. Goovis has provided both adjustable IPD and diopter, allowing users to dial in their perfect level of vision. While this isn't a new feature, it is one that we rarely see on other headsets, and when we do, it's usually not to this level of refinement. So I have to commend Goovis on their thoughtfulness when it comes to people like me who wear glasses, or for those of you who might not fall into that perfect 64mm IPD range. Now. One other thing that I felt was great about this headset, unlike a lot of the others that I personally own and use, was the fact that you can use it outside. The screen brightness and anti-glare technology work as advertised, and in bright sunlight, it maintains clarity and vivid colors. This is a notable achievement, setting it apart from a lot of other portable viewing devices that struggle with outdoor use due to extreme amounts of glare or a reduction in their brightness. Now, as it is with any headset that uses lenses to magnify an image, I do caution you against allowing those lenses to be in view of direct sunlight. 
This is an easy way to destroy your screen. So if you use any headset outdoors, please remember to always keep the lenses either covered or directly pointed away from the sun. Okay, so now let's talk about a few of the negatives with this headset. Despite its many strengths, the Guvis Art isn't perfect. In high contrast scenes, I've actually noticed a subtle and slightly distracting halo effect that surrounds the image, and this anomaly can pull you out of an immersive experience. And it's not ideal when you're in an intense moment in your favorite show or game, so it is a little uncomfortable. Now, what is comfortable is the head strap, but what is uncomfortable with the head strap is the fact that it does tend to slide around on my face and I'm constantly having to adjust it. Another pain point is while the video is stellar, the audio leaves something to be desired. The built-in speakers are barely passable with either volume or the sound clarity required to be considered an optimal viewing experience. Now you can use headphones to mitigate that, but honestly it wouldn't be even necessary if Guvis just would have used higher quality speakers like we've seen in glasses like Vitro Pro or X-Real Air 2 Pro. One last thing I wanted to mention before we wrap things up is the Guvis Portable Stream Media Player. They sent me this along with the art headset, and I have to say, if you don't want to use your phone for media playback, this device is great. It brings a full Android TV experience to the headset and opens up additional runtime with an included battery pack, as well as the ability to carry a vast media library since it has micro SD storage capability. This also opens up another very familiar form of control, which is via a traditional TV style remote. So in my opinion, this little box is a must have accessory if you plan on grabbing a Guvis Art headset. Set. And quite frankly, even if you don't, this is still a great choice if you're considering an Android TV box. You could also hook up other glasses to it using an HDMI to USB-C adapter, or you could just do what I'm doing when not using it with your Guvis Art, which is hooking it to your bedroom TV or another TV in your house to change it from a standard LCD TV into a smart, full-fledged Android TV system. So overall, the Guvis Art is an impressive piece of tech that exceeds in screen quality and the fact that you can use it outdoors. Although it has its drawbacks, the positives far outweigh the negatives in this headset. So if anyone's looking for a high quality immersive video viewing experience on the go, something that you might use with your drone or other FPV device, or just something that you want to play with, I think the Guvis Art is definitely worth a look. So as always, I will have a link for this device in my description. Go check it out and if you feel it's right, then grab one for yourself. But for me, that's going to do it. I'll see you all in the next one. This is Don, signing off.